Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind design and luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. Wait. No, it's that side. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're- For today's video, I thought I would use my imagination and my mediocre Photoshop skills to talk about what I want to see from the next Studio Ghibli Loewe collab. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. If you're not familiar with my channel, I am a huge fan of Loewe. I'm also a huge fan of Studio Ghibli and the fact that they did collaborations. It really blew my mind when it first came out. And then the fact that they did another one also blew my mind. So one of the questions I kind of asked myself was if they do another collab, what would that film even be? Because like, the first one was Totoro, which makes sense. The whole idea of Totoro, it's cute merch selling really well, is what made that film so commercially viable. And then of course the next one was Spirited Away, which was the most popular globally from Studio Ghibli. So of course that made sense as well. In a previous video, I actually made a couple of guesses like Kiki's Delivery Service, Princess Mononoke. I guess I can say I thought I was really wrong <laughs> with those guesses. So where I eventually landed was Howl's Moving Castle. I have a few reasons why I'm guessing that. Uh, one is that there are a few cute characters like Calcifer and Heen, that dog with like the chicken legs, which I don't know, some people might not think he's cute. I think he's adorable. Two, there's a lot of expressive faces, something that they pulled from the Spirited Away collab. And then there's a lot of rich backdrops and rich scenery that could be beautiful on packaging or on some other things that, I mean, you'll see in a second. The one thing I did want to mention is that I am not that good at Photoshop when it comes to creating things, so you're not going to see any Photoshop leather work or anything like that. I did have one idea of, there was a soot sprite bag made out of woven leather for the Spirit Away collab, and I'm thinking like, oh, what if they did one where it was actually calcifer, maybe even like under a frying pan, so then you would get the woven red, yellow, orange, and then like black structured leather on top with like a hole in it for the bag, but I don't know. That, you know, is just an idea, but for the other things, I do have visuals. So, let's go. Okay, so I'm, if I look down, it's because I'm looking at my computer, because that is where the magic happens. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, so the first, I guess, like, category, there's only like three categories, and most of them are bags. So the first category I want to talk about is clothing. So of course uh, with the last two collaborations they've had the iconic like Loewe type face with the brand name over the chest and then they replaced the O with something. So in the past we've seen little Totoro's, soot sprites. So then the idea here is that the O would be replaced with either a little calcifer or one of the star child, like the head of the little star child thing, that's like the little dot and then the line. <laughs> you see it. And I think I love the Calcifer one, and I think that one's really cute. The star child one is maybe less obvious that it's a collab, but it is like an important part of the movie, and it's like one of the only like round things that are like kind of like less detailed which would make it easy for them to either embroider or do something like that. So what excites me like a little bit more are there's a couple of shirts that I mocked up. This first one is more of like a denim jacket, but then the idea of it being like a hand painted type look on it, where maybe some of the pieces are embroidered. I say this because I love the way that Loewe does denim and the way that they treat denim. I actually have a denim overshirt from them, from the, I think it's like the Ken Jones artist collaboration, but it looks like it's hand painted on, but I'm pretty sure it's a print. But I just know like if they were able to do that on that shirt that I have, but on something that's Howl's Moving Castle, I think that would be so amazing. So this one is of the castle walking down the hillside or whatever. I don't know. I just love the idea of like actually taking these rich detailed images. That's something that the last collaborations haven't really done. Uh, I think probably because they 
wanted to make sure it would be easy enough for the process because all this detail might not look as nice but I think if they were able to I would love to see the ca the castle is like the icon from the film right so I would love to see that like on a shirt and then the other shirt I have is Howl catching the falling star I love the scene because it's kind of like you see it as the turning point of the film everything like clicks and starts to make sense I think even though it's like way at the end I just think it's like such beautiful imagery and you see this like moment of innocence and like the turning point of when it like begins to become corrupted and things like that I don't know I just like it and I think it's cute there's like some opportunity for more of the craft element of like embroidery or something but it does rely a bit on print which I mean for me the way that Loewe does prints is very interesting so I wouldn't necessarily be turned off from it because they like to do embroidery or some sort of like craftsman detail over it so it still has this like artisanal feel all right but that's the first category so the second category i have is <laughs> okay this is gonna sound real dumb the second category is blankets Ooh, oh my gosh who doesn't want a blanket from a luxury leather house i don't know i do and i did and i still love my blanket that I have. The first idea that I have is based off of the fleece blankets that Loewe does. So the thing about those is they call them fleece but then they seem to be like tufted. Like each of the individual pieces of fiber is like an actual individual color rather than it just being a print on a fleece which I think is what we're more used to. So the image that I chose for this that I would love to see is like the finished or I guess the refurbished castle after it can fly because i i don't know i think it's such a beautiful part of the movie when you see like the repaired castle oh my god spoiler alert <laughs> i mean the movie's like however many years old right but it's this like beautiful end to the film where you see like the castle's been repaired and it's kind of like gives you a happy ending feeling and I don't know, I, I think it's another opportunity for them to show a little bit of detail on something. I don't know how possible it is because the castle is quite detailed and all of the blankets that I've seen them do, specifically the fleece ones, they're limited to a few colors and kind of more broader shapes, but I still think it would work. And I want to be right, so please let me make my dream come true. Ah. So then the next idea I have for a blanket. It's actually based off of the Chihiro blanket from the last Spirited Away collab. I really wanted it because it's like, it basically is like a tapestry, right? You can tell it's woven with the colors to make the image. And <laughs> I don't know, this image that I chose, I guess I kind of liked the idea of like one of the main characters, I guess the main character from each movie, having this kind of emotional turning point with there being water in the scene. In the Chihiro blanket, she's like being held by the river god and she's underwater so everything's kind of blue. For Sophie, she's... It's that part of the movie where she's like, I can't stop crying! <laughs> it's not a funny part of the movie, but the way I said it was probably funny, right? But yeah, I don't know. It just like having that kind of parallel of like an emotional turning point in the film. Like for Chihiro, she's realizing like she is capable of things there and for her she's realizing that everything that she's understood you know kind of got flipped on its head so i think that's also like i don't know cool fun interesting but yeah that's what i have for blankets all right so now we're on to the last category which is bags so i have hold on one two three four five eight bags and yes i did have to count them out it is a lot so i'll try to like put them in pairs so that it's not like i'm talking about each one like forever and ever and ever and i think it makes sense i don't know let me know in the comments does it make sense so for the first two bags i have the bracelet pouch and the heel pouch both with calcifer on them for me calcifer he's just like a little fire demon and i think he's cute and I think a lot of people think he's cute. So I think having him on this pouch just being on the end and it's kind of like the black is the fireplace and then he's like in shock because you're like picking him up. 
I think that would be cute. And then the other one is the heel pouch. So this part, I don't know if it's possible because I know that the marquetry technique is often like, you can't do it with like tiny, tiny pieces of leather and like there's a bit of detail here. But if you're a fan of Ghibli movies, you know how important food is. And honestly, this, this is the most delicious looking pan of eggs and bacon I have ever seen in my life. If I could eat a pan of eggs and bacon that looks just like this, I could die happy. I could die right after eating that. And I would be so content with my life. Hence, <laughs> why I think it should be on a bag. For this one, I would love to see it as like, all obviously all of the bags I would expect marquetry, but like having it just on that pouch and it being like its own little icon there, I think would be so cute. And I think really the rounded shape of the heel pouch lends itself to that. But those are the first two. The next two, the characters are actually, this is actually taken from the same frame, but it's Heen, Jumping Up in Joy, and what's his name? Onion Head? Turnip Head? Oh yeah, Turnip Head, that's his name. Oh my god, fake fan. <laughs> what I actually loved about this image is that it gave that like light blue sky and then the green green grass. It kind of reminded me of this bag, the Otori-sama from Spirited Away. Uh, with a bicolor bag where the top is white and then the bottom is green. For this situation, I I just thought it made sense because for me, bicolor bags are just so beautiful and interesting on their own. And then adding a character, I think, just makes it even more interesting. I just think Turnip Head is, I don't know, this goofy, comical character. Um, and I'd love to see him represented on the flamenco bag because it is rectangular in a way having a, uh, because he always has his arms out in a T, I think that makes the most sense for the shape. And then for Heen, the little dog with the chicken legs, I chose the hammock nugget because A, it's a new bag shape that I think is actually really fun. And B, the name is hammock nugget. And to me, Heen is this little tiny nugget of joy. So then why not combine them together? So you have the little, little doggy Oh, not yet. Okay. The next two, I don't think these necessarily go hand in hand, but we're well, gonna try anyways. So the next one is uh, Markle, the little uh, wizard's apprentice, uh, actually as an old man, like in his old man garb, on an Amazona. So the scene that I took this image of Markle from is from in the castle, and I don't know, for some reason I was like, oh, he's in a room, so a rectangle. So then I chose the Amazona. But I don't know, it also just makes sense because like where the handle part drops to, you could put him like right square in the middle of it. I, I don't know, I just think it works. On the other hand, uh, the other bag is the Luna bag. And this one I put the same like image of Hal catching the falling star. I think for me, I just like the idea of he's catching a falling star but it's on a bag called Luna, so you have that kind of like astrology connection, ooh. Having that juxtaposition of like, oh, something astrological happening in the imagery versus the moon-shaped bag, I think is very, I don't know, fun. <laughs> Listen, these are all just fun ideas and I'm just trying to have a good time. Speaking of good times, these last two bags, I think are really fun. And I hope you think they're fun too, because they're also the weird ones. The first one is still, okay, because I love Calcifer in that frying pan with like the bacon and eggs. So of course it's going to be a puzzle bag with Calcifer with bacon and eggs. I would love to see like the image stretch past the dividing lines of the puzzle. Every time you see the little character in just one of the triangles, it makes it feel like, oh, you just popped them in there, but then having it actually like break past it and be a part of it would make it seem more monumental, I guess, more monolithic, make it seem a little bit more impressive for me. I really, I just like him and I like bacon and eggs too. I like eating. This last bag is, oh my God, this is a weird one. This is again, a black puzzle bag, just with Howl's face in it because he became a monster. So he's covered in black feathers, so it's just, pop right there. I acknowledge that this would have made more sense on a hammock, but for some reason, this like cuboid shape 
and popping his face on there just like really like spoke to me. I don't know, maybe I'll mock up his face on a hammock bag too so that we can have it, so I can share it with you. I don't know, I just like the idea of like it being his shape because I remember seeing the no face hammock and I was like, oh yeah, the body's his shape. Perfect. Okay, fine. Okay, here we go. <laughs> There's the hammock bag. <laughs> but anyways, here's both of them. I don't know, I just think it's like super interesting when like you take the face and like use it just on a bag and it, the bag kind of becomes their body in a way, even if it's the wrong shape. Yeah, but yeah, let me know, what do you think? Did you think these ideas are interesting? I think any of the movies honestly could be the next collaboration, so let me know, do you think it is Howl? Or do you think it's another movie? I mean, for me personally, Howl's Moving Castle holds a special place in my heart because the music is so beautiful and I think so well done. But let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you'd maybe expect to see or maybe what you want to see. That's all I have for you today. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Until next time. Wait, oh. Beep, beep, beep. I don't know what noise they made. Beep, beep, beep.